in your Linux terminal, have you ever wanted to watch videos? Let me show you guys a tool that'll allow you to do that. What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie. And today I wanted to dive into a really cool tool for all you Linux enthusiasts out there. And it's called YTFZF. And it's a powerful POSIX script that lets you search and watch videos right from your terminal. And it's no API needed. So whether you're a Linux pro or just getting started, this tool is gonna make your experience even more exciting. Let's get into it. So I'm at github.com and this is where you can find this tool. And of course, I'll have the link down in the description of the video to allow you to get to it. But YTFZZ is more than just a script. It's a gateway to YouTube from your terminal and it offers a unique blend of functionality and simplicity. It's built for those who love the efficiency of the command line, which I do. That's how I found this tool. I was looking through GitHub just for some command line tools that allow me to be a little bit more efficient from the command line. And I was super excited to try it out. So I got it installed on my main system and I've been using it ever since. But with this tool, you can experience features like thumbnail previews, custom menus, and a variety of add-ons for enhanced functionality. And if we scroll down a little further through here, you guys will see an example. You'll see Richard Stallman right there, but you'll also see the table of contents where you can go to the dependencies. You can check that out. So JQ, Curl, MPV, which I love MPV. That's one of my favorite video players. Besides VLC, I like VLC still, but MPV, I find myself starting to use that a lot more. And then also FZF, and you'll see these dependencies pop up when we go through the install of it. Because some of them are required, they say it's optional, but a lot of them are required. Now for one, the YTDLP, that is an optional dependency of MPV. And I installed that a long time ago. So it's already on my system. Now DMenu, in order for that option to work, you have to install DMenu. But anyway, there's a couple other dependencies you can install, but here's the package right here. This shows you how to install it right there and what package and the status of that package. And as you can see, I use Orch Linux. I'm gonna show you guys on the Orch Linux system, but 2.6 is the most up-to-date version. If we go up here to the top, I forgot to show you guys this, but the release, the latest release is 2.6. 6.1 so that's available in the arch repository you can also get this thing installed on other distros just look through here and see if you can you know get it on there manjaro which is what i'll show you guys today i'll get it installed on manjaro which is arch base but they do show you the options down up in here you can get it installed look look right there ubuntu 24.04 should be included in that even though that hasn't been released yet but they're saying it should work there as well and then you can go down and check out the add-ons and then also if we go down here there's a bunch of examples of how to use it but i'll show you guys a couple examples once we get it installed on our system which we can go down and hop over there now to my virtual machine and we go out through the install and then check it out so let's get to it before we move forward i wanted to give a quick shout out to ciq the official partner of rocky linux Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. All right, so I'm logged into my virtual machine. Let's go on and get YTFZF installed. And let's go on and type sudo pacman dash s and then it's YTFZF. Let's press enter. And like I said, there were a bunch of dependencies and it'll show you the dependencies once we get it installed. I already have MPV installed, as you can see, and then also YTDLP installed. And then I'm sure we're gonna need FZF installed for sure, but I'll just save that for after it fails because I wanna show you guys these failures that'll happen when you get it installed. I went through all the troubleshooting beforehand and I'll walk you guys through the fixes for it. It's basically these optional dependencies are needed in a lot of cases in order to use the application. So let's go down and type in the base level command. Well, actually let's run YTFZF and then let's check out the version of it. That's the first thing I'm, 
I want to do. So dash dash version. So we got that 2.6.1, which is that latest version of it. So let's go on and type in the base command. And what you have to do is use a search term. So uh, you have to put that in quotes. So double quotes. And then I'll search for keep it techie just to bring up something that I'm familiar with. And let's fix that right fast. Keep it techie. And then press enter. It'll go through. It'll search the web, search YouTube for all your videos, and it'll display them in a list and it will actually fail at this point and i'll show you guys how to correct that and that is an error i haven't seen but it should have shown us that it needs fzf but let's actually run it again without that just see if we can get the right error that i want to show you guys because this is most likely what you're going to see yeah there we go so that only took a second this time but fzf need is needed it says it's an optional dependency but it's needed so let's go back in here and run the install and what i'm gonna do is fzf and then let's type d menu because i'm gonna show you guys that option and then also this other dependency right here once i show you guys another option is needed so we're gonna use that so i'm gonna copy it just paste it down here let's go on and get these packages installed and i just wanted to show you guys that i'm not sure why i just don't go on and install those dependencies since they're needed to run a lot of the commands but i wanted to show you guys that first off so you guys can see so let's just run the basic level command with no options and let's press enter and this will go through and find our websites and that's what the fz does it brings up this menu and let's make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see and it's really not a menu it's just uh, a way to lay out the the actual search results so as you can see it goes through finds all uh, a list of videos based on your search result and it's broken up in different categories so you got the title of the video you got the channel that it's on you got the time and it's in minutes that's why it looks like that but it's in minutes so it's not it's not broken out by hours and that's the only videos i got up there that are you know over an hour or two i think this this is my beginners course or a linux operating system beginners crash course that's on my channel you guys can check that out if you're interested in learning linux it's an awesome video is featured on free code camp it'll get you set up you know with base understanding of linux and i need to redo it as well as the linux plus exam course that i want to put out but also it shows you the views of the video it also shows you when it was uploaded so how long it's been on the platform and then as well as the link to the youtube video itself and so that's what fz f does it basically puts it in this format and i'll show you guys the other formats once we get past this right fast. and let's find us a short video and let's see if it actually works so what it will do it'll find that information for that video and play it in hpv and as you can see like i said you're not going to be able to hear the video but you'll be able to see you know and that's just because i'm running this in a virtual machine I'm trying to make it smaller just trying to get over here to the corner there we go all right so let's make this thing smaller boom and you can play your videos directly from the terminal and it's also anonymous you know what i'm saying it's it's not actually connected to an account it's just playing it directly from the from the thing and then once it finishes like i'll just show you what it does at the end once it finishes it'll go through it'll stop playing a video and then you'll see a stop over here on the terminal because you'll see the terminal running it says exiting ended file and it'll close the hpv so good to go that's how the application works now let me show you guys another way of searching so uh, you can ask add the dash t option and this will actually pull in the thumbnails and this is a super cool feature in order to see what the video is about like when we looked at it earlier and actually let's run it again without that just so you guys can see again but you know it's got that layout kind of like a spreadsheet excel spreadsheet let's quit this and let's see let's go exit i believe or that filters up there we could do control c and that'll get us out of it but let's run it with the dash t option i forgot it got that filter up there but dash t and let's put a space in between there boom and this will do a view and it'll basically pull in the thumbnails for each video so as you can see on the side same list that we had before but when you go through them it'll show you all the thumbnails and it'll show all that information that we saw listed you know the duration of the video the views how long it's been up you know different things like that and it'll go through and do that and then that was one thing i forgot to show you guys in the beginning but you can filter up here so like 
I know I did something with DistroTube, so let's see if we can pull up DistroTube and shout out to DistroTube. That's the chat I did with DistroTube two months ago. It was super cool, you know, super cool interview I did with him. Awesome video. And as you can see, that one is selected. That's on his channel. And then also, let's see, I might have mentioned him in here. I might have said something about DT and one of these other ones. That's why it's bringing it up or it might be in the, in the comments or something. That's why it's filtering that out. But Distro 2, you know, that's that video. Video I did with him so that's super dope and actually I should have left that up there and uh, started the video so you guys can see but let's run it right fast so like I said it'll open it up the exact same way it opened up the other one you know very simple and it'll run the video from DT and he'll get a view from me you know by watching it this way but like I said this is super cool now let me show you guys the D menu option let's see let's go D I think it's capital D I believe and that'll use D menu and that's that package that we you know installed as you can see looks a little better looks a whole lot better so you can go through look at your videos the exact same way or similar and then go through and find whatever you want it just looks a whole lot better in D menu so let's click on this one plex media server and it will open it up the exact same way she'll open it up using mpv and so let's go on and close that my eyes kind of <laughs> bucked in that video i was like ah <laughs> but nah, it's super cool application now let's say you just want to search and get a list of the links to this to the videos that we want to look for so let's actually do something different let's look for in map i know that's a video i'm looking at working on so but you could type dash capital l and press enter and i'll put links up there for you if we select the video so like if we let's see let's go back up here to the network chuck one let's press enter they'll show you the link to it so boom all you gotta do is click on that and that will open up your browser control and then click and that should open up our browser yeah there we go all right so it'll go right to that video by network chuck so good to go and so that's a, a awesome feature, you know what I'm saying? If, it, if you wanna use that dash L. So let's go through and find a, a shorter video again. Let's go here, in-map tutorial for beginners. It's four minutes and 41 seconds. Let's click on that one and it'll print out that link and let's control click and it'll bring up that video by Anand Ali. And shout out to him, I never heard of his channel. I definitely might check him out you know what i'm saying looks like a cool guy once i get past you know the ad the obvious ad and just go down and close it that's cool now one other cool thing about it you can actually search odyssey for a video so let's do the same option let's go c and then capital o and let's search for it in map and it should go to odyssey yes yeah, scrapes odyssey and let's see techie rick it looks like he got a good video as well let's see net in-map baseline and this is by the tech firm so if we click on or hit that should open up odyssey for us there we go so that's running directly from odyssey so you don't have to just use you know youtube you can look at these videos directly on odyssey so if you find a video you want to see from odyssey definitely you know run it this way and then let's go to the end of it or so close to the end of it because i don't want to play people's videos on my video i just want to show you guys it ending the file so boom good to go and it uses pipe wire or whatever audio software you have on your system and so that's super cool all right so that wraps up my look at ytfzf we saw how this nifty script transforms your terminal into a youtube viewer and making it a must try for any linux user so if you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the keep it techy channel and ring the bell for notifications on any new video that pops up and also happy new year uh, glad to be in 2024 and i'll be doing my best to bring awesome linux content and tech for their foreseeable future so stay curious and make sure you keep it techy